Hey everybody, this is Kelsey Dion from the Arcane Library, and today in honor of Independent July RPG Month, which was a cool movement started by Professor Dungeon Master, I wanted to take this chance to talk about some of my favorite gems from the indie RPG world. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of taking the approach of some like deep cuts and b-sides here, um, things that deserve a lot more attention than I've seen them get on the internet, whether because they're newer or maybe because they've been out for a while and people haven't been talking about them as much recently. So in either case, I'm going to dive in on some of my very favorites for you guys today. So first of all, one of my favorite creators happens to be a map maker and a game designer and an artist, many things combined, and that is JP Kuvert. So JP has a YouTube channel and a Patreon, and he's putting out all the super cool work, um, indie games, uh, games in support of like D&D like games, and then also just really spectacular advice about designing maps and kind of breaking your way into making your own art for your games. And so of that topic matter, we have these two zines. We have making maps and dungeon drawing dungeons. Um, and these are both uh, the Flick Silver Pen guides that you can get over on JP's Patreon. And I'm telling you, these are like things I would carry in my bag with me because there are times where I get the inspiration to start drawing a dungeon, whether I'm waiting somewhere and I have my notebook with me or I have a second of downtime. And these are the best references ever because what JP does is he'll take you through the entire process of drawing out a really cool looking map or overland map, um, kind of in the the, bit by bit style from the ground up. So like here, you'll see that you get a fully rendered map and then going on through the pages here, JP walks you through the tools he uses and how he sets everything up, how he creates his pencil drawings of the dungeon and then takes you through the process of inking things. He has these excellent references for little dungeon features that you can use when you want to draw your own like beds or bookshelves so that you can get this really cool consistent style. And these are just so invaluable. So JP, thank you for making these and I will continue to use these all the time as I draw and I hope that other people will use these as references too because they're just excellent. The next one is a product by one of my favorite third party creators, the Mary Mushmen. They're very well known for creating Knock Magazine, which is just an excellent zine. Um, but people have talked about those before online, and I want to talk about one of their products that is a little bit more of a deep cut that came out recently on Kickstarter. This is a folklore bestiary, and I have the version here that's compatible with Old School Essentials and BX. And this is a set of creatures, monsters, and beings that are inspired by folktale and superstition from all around the world. So the, the contributors are writers that are coming from a variety of different cultures who are bringing their cool folklore into what they're writing here and sharing it with us. And it's just so fun because the way these are presented are just beautifully done. Um, art that is fully rendered of all these really cool styles. And you get this big variety of style in here. Um, and stats, of course, and then all of these really cool additional add-ons that explain the folklore of these creatures and then how you can use them in your game. We've got roll tables, we've got adventure ideas, um, just all kinds of super fantastic stuff. And this is the kind of monster manual that's just a delight to read. It's, it's a cut above an ordinary monster manual because you get so much extra interesting material along with it that adds to the monsters as well as all of the folklore that goes with them and just the really cool insights into different monsters that um, have existed in human culture possibly for a really long time that you know we can then incorporate into our own games so absolutely worth checking out i love this one all right, next is a product that's by my friends. And so full disclosure, I have a writing credit in this product, but I really don't think I deserve it because I was only a play tester. So they're so generous, they gave me one, but I didn't deserve it. And this is the Cypunk Anthology. So this is written by Brandish Gilhelm at Runehammer Games and Alex Alvarez, who is just a phenomenal creator and dungeon master. And this anthology contains three games or sort of game settings that are all in the vein of science fiction and cyberpunk. So kicking off, it is first of all, fully color illustrated by Brandish Gilhelm, who's a professional in the industry and has just a wonderful style. Like that's, that's just so cool. Um, this is Altered State, this first part, which is a setting, a cyberpunk sort of dystopian setting that blends seamlessly with the index card RPG rules. Um, and by nature of working well with index card RPG, it really could work well with almost any 
kind of classic six stat related um, D&D like game. And I absolutely love this setting. Alex uh, play tested a really lengthy campaign path with us that he then shared in this setting. And he's an S tier dungeon master. So any of his uh, pacing and campaign advice uh, is well worth having. And so it develops out the world of Altered State, gives you all of your character options, um, a bunch of background knowledge, and then all kinds of adventures that your characters can get up to, as well as that campaign path that they can follow from start to finish, which I think in here, Alex mentions it, but I think we played for approximately five months, this campaign path, and it was over 60 locations and maps from start to finish. So he walks you through all of that in here. Super cool, it was such a fantastic campaign. Another uh, setting in here is the Bearcat setting, which is by Brandish Gilhelm. Um, and it's mostly system neutral, but it's a, a fight for survival type game where um, you were playing characters who were um, high school students that were at school when this alien invasion began. And something that is so wonderful about this setting is that there's a huge map that comes with it as a digital file that you can get. Um, and it's like a battle world sized map. It's a very, very big area that the characters can explore over time. And they're trying to figure out what's happening and trying to maybe figure out how to get to safety. And um, it's called Bearcats because the high school mascot at Fairville High are the Bearcats. And so it's a, it's a story of surviving and overcoming and um, high schoolers using their wits to succeed in an unusual situation, just like every classic 80s and 90s movie. <laughs> And then last in this book is Xeno Dead Zone, which is an excellent game about um, being an operative on an operative team where you are going in with some objective to try to fight back against some xenomorphs. Um, and this has tons of missions and objectives, so you could either play that game as you know, a single setting, single sit down board game style thing one night, or you could expand it out into a campaign because there's just so many different objectives and options that you can do. And the goal is to get in, complete the objective, and then find a way to get out again. So it, it wraps up neatly into a nice session and it's super fun, fast paced, deadly, and very exciting. And of course, beautifully illustrated once again by Brandish. So this is a complete hidden gem. I love this book so much and I hope other people um, scope it out as well because it's well worth having on your shelf. And lastly, the last thing I want to mention, possibly the most well-known thing on this list, but still one that I have to talk about because I finally just got my hands on a physical copy of it, is The Dark of Hot Springs Island by Swordfish Islands, the team of four writers. Um, and this is, well, it's the new cover art. And I think this is just really, really cool and very sword and sorcery vibes. And this is an entire campaign setting um, in a place called Hot Springs Island, which is a really fascinating island with a very, very deep history and um, some extremely explosive things set with a fuse on here. And it's really interesting because this book talks about how the characters are the spark for the powder keg when they arrive. And there are factions, um, ancient secrets to discover, interesting villains who you can ally with or fight against. Um, so much going on. The, the hexes are very richly detailed, um, and it's, it's meant to be a hex crawl, but it, it has enough material in it to be an entire campaign. You can make this last for a long time. So beautifully illustrated. Uh, and it has a really incredible layout for running the hexes that makes it so easy and so interesting and fast for rolling up encounters. Just this whole book pushes the boundaries entirely of what it means to have a hex crawl. Um, and what it means to have rich, fascinating encounters and interwoven factions and story going on throughout the entire area. And so this book is a masterpiece. And I think that it is a jewel in the crown of the many jeweled crown of indie works. So I hope that you guys will maybe give it a chance, scope it out if you haven't, um, well worth your time. Stuff like Hot Springs Island and the Cypunk Anthology, all of that is just masterfully done stuff by people who are so passionate about gaming and who live and breathe gaming. And so let's support them, let's get their work and let's talk about it and let's share the stuff that we love. And you know, July is Independent RPG Month, but hey, in my world, every month is Independent July RPG Month. So I'm sure I'll be doing more videos like this um, for other game systems and other things that come out. So thanks so much for listening, you guys. I hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.